Is there anything wrong with it? Anything I need to know about? So, so there is a bit of a story with this car. Yeah. Adam. Yes, mate. Good to meet you <laughs> at long last. <laughs> so um, you popped down today to hopefully do a deal with us with our BMW 340i. It come from George. Obviously, the guy was bloody yeah, yeah. an absolute perfectionist. Really nice car. And where you come from today? Devon, sure. Yeah. You've come from Devon yeah, today. Right. How long was the journey up here today? Then? Uh, about three hours, 40 minutes. Oh, really? Not too bad. No, I mean, yeah. That's good going. Yeah, yeah. I always feel like Devon's a five hour run, but Depends it's on, not depends so on bad. Day. Depends which way you go, let's say. Yeah, yeah. And, um, what, yeah, sorry, what did you do for work? So Is that why I you come down in, today? I work in telecoms. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. So, you managed to get a day off today? Yeah, I, I work a four day week and I, today's my day off. So, yeah. Kids at school, drop them off this morning. Mission. And that, get the car ready last night. Straight up here. Straight up here. Yeah, no missing. How many miles is this car done? Just over 50, 51 nearly, no? Okay, and so there is a bit of a story with this car. Yeah. Which is why I want to really want to look at it before I buy it. It's categorised, isn't it? It is cat in, yeah. It's cat in. Do you, yeah. Was it, did that happen in the time that you've owned it? No, so the previous owner, uh, Gavin, he won't mind me saying, mm -hmm. um, he actually bought it from the end of the of Hyundai. Okay. So it was the End Division's demo car mm -hmm. originally. He bought it from them, owned it, absolutely cherished it, and he had a minor accident in it, which was this front corner. Mm -hmm. um, no airbags or anything like that went off, because I'm quite particular with my cars. Um, and I've got kids as well. So how long have you had it for then? I've had it about seven months. Oh right, so not, yeah, quite long. That is quite long for yeah, me. That's quite long for <laughs> most petrol heads. Yeah, for me it's quite long. Um, so did you buy it privately then, I guess? Bought directly privately, off yeah, off here. Gavin? Yeah, bought, bought it off Gav. Um, and then, yeah, I've done a few little bits to it as well. So I've got my own YouTube channel. Uh, which is called oh, you have, yeah, yeah. yeah Jerome mentioned that as yeah, well. so that's called Nought to 60. Um, and the bits and pieces that I've done on the court car I'll put like RS3 brake ducts on it. I'll put a Ford short shifter on it. Wiggle. Give him a good wiggle. Guys, just quickly, I need to ask you something. I really, really need to ask you something. Please, yeah, can you hit the subscribe button? Because so many of you have still not hit the bloody subscribe button. And I need you to hit subscribe because I just want, well, we just hit 250k subscribers, which is amazing. But the more subscribers we get, the more reach we get, which means we can do more of the channel and entertain you a lot more. So please, just take the time, hit the subscribe button. Thank you. And I've done some videos on that. Oh, um, wicked. So, yeah. That's cool. So people can look at Gav's Instagram and... See the story of the car. And yes, yeah, and then a bit of the cars, story. it is really. Wicked. So it's a fastback, yeah? Yeah, fastback. So obviously we've had the Hyundai 30 and the performance blue one recently with Richard won yep. uh, on the channel and it was crashed also. It's a crash damaged car. Yeah. Um, and it ended up being crashed again. I don't know if you saw yeah, the story. Yeah, I did see that, yeah. Poor Richard. Poor but bloke. we've um, we've actually just filmed an update on that which might have gone live at this point, I don't know. But um it's interesting that you bought a fastback. So I was going to talk about you. So you're, you you mentioned that you've had a lot of cars. Yeah. You mentioned that you like BMWs. Yes. What was the car that you had prior to this? Prior to this, I had, I have had two of these. Have you really? I'm trying to remember what I've had in between. Um, I normally have BMWs. Yeah. Um, I'll get ripped for it, but we've got a Tesla as well. Oh no. That's like, we might Everyday have, car. I'll bleep that out, don't you worry. You have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wife's. It's the wife's car. I love it, to be fair. Okay. It's a wicked car. No, nah, it's cool. They're cool. They're but very cool. I am cool. a petrol head, so yeah, delete that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I had another i 30 n before this, and I'd, I'd done track days with that. But yeah, I'd got out of hand and, uh, at Thruxton and... Uh, Did it really? That, that, that got written off. Oh, yeah. no way. <laughs> Broke three ribs as well. I, I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not funny. It's not funny. That's bad. <laughs> it was. But yeah, always take out track insurance, guys. Did you not then? Yes. Oh, Thank you did? God. Oh, well Otherwise done. I would have been 30 grand down. That's a good message to put out there because that's always a thing that you could flip a coin on in a day, couldn't yeah. you? But it's worth doing. Yeah. That's well. the first time I took that car to the track. And yeah, it just, it was, yeah, a bit of oil is what I'm saying, but on the, on the track, but yeah about 90 mile an hour, so it was quite a bad one. Okay, so, but it's interesting, you had one of the, so you've had one of these before, yeah. you're a German car guy, yeah. you've gone back and bought another one. 
Yeah. Uh, this time a categorised one. Yeah. yeah. That's obviously not put you off buying the car. I'm okay. guessing you bought it for the right money because it, you know, yeah, the it was, you know, compared to what I paid for my first one, it was just over like half the money. Okay. Um, and I don't know how much you know about these, but most people who follow these, Albert Beerman designed the M cars that you've got in there. Mm -hmm. They nabbed him from BMW. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah. I've read the story about so it. It's if really... you look at the gauges, they're like the E46 M3 with the lights and There's yeah. so much inspiration from BMW, yeah. oh, even yeah. the whole N and M, you know, it's, there's a bit of a similarity yeah. there as well. So how much are you open to get for this car, by the way? What's your asking price? Well, if I was to put it out there for sale, I'd, I'd be looking at about 15. Okay. But I've agreed with Jerome at 13. Okay, guys. 13 grand. So. I'm going to come out here, rip it apart. Do that. Off your five grand for it. And I'm going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got any pictures of the damage from when it was crashed? Um, I have somewhere, because I did, although I knew it was a cat in, I still did a um, car check on it, like an HPI check on it. Co and car vertical. Up. Not, you've done a car vertical it check? It was you? car vertical. Okay, actually. it was. Yeah, because it tells you about all the options that you get on the That's car. That's it. And uh, yeah, it comes up with the crash damage as well, and it's got the photos on there as well. And I got a discount code from your your site. Oh, what's I the discount it? code? Tell everyone. I can't remember what it is. Oh, mate, come on, you should know. CCD. Well, yeah. There you go. Card Ivy. Link in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the chicken discount. Uh, so let's have a quickly look, quick look under the bonnet, and then modifications wise. Right. Because we're, we're about to do the whole bonnet thing. By the way, it's very cool, man. I, I do like the fastback. It's probably you mentioned it yourself, like family car, sports car, it offers a bit more than I suppose a normal hatch does. Yeah, well I don't normally particularly like red cars, yeah. but I like the CLA 45. Okay. In in red, it looks wicked, mm -hmm. and obviously this is very similar shape, so with all the black bits on it looks cool. I agree, CLA, Merc, we sold an A45 AMG recently in red with a few black touches. Yeah. It does look good, you're right. But anyway, under the bonnet. Yeah, so it's had a fair bit done to it, it's never been mapped, mm -hmm. but it's got like the, it's all forged on it. So it's got like the forged turbo elbow, the induction, silicon hoses. It's got a full Remus exhaust on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah. interesting, isn't it? So it's had a few bits done yeah, to it. Yeah, and this, that was all done before, before I bought it. Um, and then I've done a few bits. I've put full braided hoses on it because my, intention was to track the car yeah but i haven't actually ever tracked it oh that's interesting yeah. that's good um so yeah but i put the braided hoses on it the ford short shifter which yeah. shortens the throw and the sideways throw as well yeah um that's good has it still got the stock clutch in it yeah Stand. clutch is good because we just yeah. we've actually put a clutch in our one and i say it's probably a weak point but you say like power wise you don't know what is it they say that the Elba gives you like 10 horsepower, the induction will give you like, I don't know, 10, 15, the exhaust, but, 5. Yeah, but it's not been mapped to suit no, all the upgrades, so it's just still no. stock mapped with it, a few hardware. Was, the guy before me did it, so effectively you can go quite quick to stage 2. Yeah, okay. But to be honest, it's, I reckon it's about 300 roughly, um, with the mods that it's got on it. And yeah, I think without the software, it's probably not going to achieve too much. Too but yeah, it's got. Well, that's what they say. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah. I suppose I've driven a. Might be a bit I've less. Driven a tuned one. So, uh, but you've also got this stock exhaust in the boot of the car, yeah, which is very, very cool. The cat's in there as well. You, you, uh, that's amazing. I like that. I like the boot as well, by the way, because I'm so used to opening the boot on a normal i30 in, and this just feels longer. Uh, but yeah, you've got stock stock exhaust. Yeah. Rear diffuser. That's all, all Maxton kit. Yeah, that's another thing. It's got the full Maxton kit on it. And as with all my cars, I fully Lano guard underneath when I first get them. Really? So, yeah, I've taken all the plastics off, cleaned it all with a strip cleaner. Wicked. And then Lano guarded it. I've got pictures. Wicked. You. All right. It's sounding good. It's clean, mate. Is there anything wrong with it? Anything I need to know about? So I had the alloys fully refurbished before mm -hmm. I come up here because I don't like I like things right yeah and they've come back I put them on the car and I've come up here today and the TPMS lights on oh well that's annoying that's that's standard though but, that happens so, all the time I don't know what it is but that's but the we ain't got thing. no flat tyres by the looks no, of things no, so I've, I bought my little pump to check them and uh, they're all good wicked okay 
Well, let's let's get in the warm out of this yeah, cold. Please. Yeah, it is freezing, isn't it? We'll um, go for a little drive and see what we can agree. Yeah. Great. Cool. So right there. Let's fuck your arm on. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. It's got like little red touches, isn't it? That, that's yeah, you, you put them in. Really? You can just pull them out. Yeah, you put them all around here as well. No but, way, they look factory, don't they? Yeah, he's, he put those in, Gab put them in. They've yeah. done a good job. Manual gearbox as well? Manual, yeah. So you've driven one before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's, you'll feel it's much tighter. I can feel it straight away. Yeah. That feels but nice. That is fully adjustable. So I put, when I put it on, mm. um, most people say about halfway, but I thought oh, I want it a bit, bit shorter. Mm -hmm. So I put it short, and I thought, like, Jesus, it's so short. Ah. So you can just whip it off and adjust it, and then put it back on. And, I and it goes from fully OEM mm -hmm. to yeah, that's about halfway. Mate, that is nice. It's that nice, feels good. Yeah. And you've done videos on this as well. That's all on there. Yeah. So if anyone, <laughs> that's yeah. wicked. So I, and I've done a full install on it, detailed every nut and bolt. What, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wicked. Yeah. So, we're going to do the usual stuff, yeah? I want to talk about valuations because that's an interesting mm -hmm. part of this video because of your specific asking price. Um, we're going to do a car vertical check, obviously, because mm -hmm. that's what we do is standard. CCD. Standard. <laughs> 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 right, so yeah, the car vertical check. Uh, you can see it's all good. Mileage is all good, 50, just over 50,000 miles. Mm -hmm. No finance, and it does show the flag on the damage there, and it yep. shows... Um, that's never been stolen, which is good, but the flag on the damage, yeah, category N, insurance write-off, uh, N obviously be, meaning non-structural, ain't mm -hmm. the end of the world. Yep. We know about all of this anyway. You've been extremely transparent. And then also what I did notice with the car vertical check is exactly what you said. So if you go down to the timeline, it shows that, I was trying to work it out. So it's got four owners and it went from WP19 to N50 to a private reg and that, that person must have sold it. Then it went to, Gav at that point, mm -hmm. Gav 2C, that's his private plate. Mm -hmm. And then I think Gav crashed it. Yes. In 2022, January. Mm -hmm. He must have decided he was selling the car at that no, point. Because somebody bought it off of like an auction site. They repaired it and he bought it back off them. That's why then, because yeah. it can see that his plate come off of it. Yeah. And then, so that was January 2022. And then the ownership changed in April 2022. And in May, he put his plate back on it. That's right, yeah. So he bought it back. Yeah. Wow. So he yeah. must have missed the car, saw he it available. Was, he literally, he loved this car. He absolutely loved it. When I took, he's actually, I've got messages from him really? saying, I'm nearly crying. No but way. I gave it away because he, he literally loved it. And to be fair, it is a It's a lovely car. car. Yeah. Oh, that's wicked. Okay, so that's all good. I'll link our vertical in the description below. Use my code CCD to get a discount. I always encourage everyone to do their checks. It's so important. You want to see the background of the history of a car, uh, especially when you're buying a car. It can save you money and you just want to know what you're buying. So here's an example of, um, well, we've got a crash at i30. I'll show you a picture of the, the, the blue one as an example. Yeah, that's not what you want to see when you're doing a check. I'll link them in the description below. Let's move on to um enter reg right so this is our own platform it's a trade only platform and within enter reg, within enter reg we can value cars right you can see all the details of the car four owners uh 50 000 miles um it's got the performance of the car there it's just usual stuff there uh what else did i want to show you? we do a basic vehicle check as well which shows it's cat in that's powered by auto trader with experian you can see they recorded this category N, previous plate change, it's all stuff that we already know. And then if we scroll down to the valuations, now I'm not sure if this is an adjusted valuation. I don't think it is. I don't think there's such thing as an evaluation, evaluation on the car market that knows or that values cars that are categorized, right? Mm -hmm. So the trade value of this car today. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you, you're actually, you, you should be the salesman. <laughs> <laughs> the trade value of this car. Tell me it's more. In, it's more, it is more. On the assumption that it's not categorised. Oh, right, that's a shame. It's £13,229. Your asking price is, is reasonable. Don't right? forget, you're getting all the mods of it. For the new owner, who's going to be very pleased. The new owner will be very pleased, but finding that new owner is what the challenge is going to be. So, Well, I'm hoping that you're going to put it on one of your beautiful giveaways, and I will be buying loads of tickets. We're, okay, 
Well, we'll talk about that on the journey, <laughs> yeah? Let's start the engine. Sounds good. So this is in normal mode. I've only got 30 miles worth of fuel. Yeah, sorry. So, is it, have we started off in high mode? That, yeah, just put it in normal. Like, so you've got normal sport and eco. Yeah. Um, so that's, this is normal mode. Steering feels heavy. It's quite heavy in normal mode. To be honest, I'm used to it. Yeah, I suppose you're used to it. But yeah, I find it feels a lot like a BMW, the, the steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, yeah, it does. I think I might have pointed that out in a review that I've done on mine. It's, it's not been lowered, but it's, because it it's no, but because it's got the Maxter kit, it's a bit lower, but the fastback is actually apparently, I've been told, a bit lower anyway. Oh right, it does yeah. look low. Yeah, it, it looks it does, like it's yeah. but low. I think the Maxton kit obviously makes yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but even in the arches the wheels don't look you know they don't look lost. Yeah, the gear shifter is nice. It's nice, isn't it? That's a nice mod that is. And you can pick I think they're like you can get them on discount from various online places that do forge but you know you can also if you're on a budget and I've, I've said this in my video there's used ones about it's like 80 quid 100 pounds really yeah i think that's 100 pound well spent yeah obviously you've got to do the work yourself but yeah just check that video out yeah it's all there mate every nut and bolt easy peasy really let's talk about your youtube channel then. Yeah, so, so you started doing a few. Did you start doing videos when you started doing this? How many subscribers have you got at the minute? Uh, not many. I, I literally just, I've only really just sort of started um, to get a feel for camera work. And, and yeah, yeah. I love cars. I've always been into cars, as we spoke about. Mm -hmm. My first car was the 205 GTI, and then from there, yeah, just just kept on. Buying. That's so cool, by the way. I know we just spoke about that. Yeah. Your first car was a 205 GTI. Yeah. I, I say I had one. Leon had one. I remember driving it back in the day. Oh, wicked car, man. We only had a 1.6. Mine was, was 1.6. Was really, yeah. yeah. They had a 1.9 as well, didn't they? I swear it had no rev limit on it. <laughs> it just <laughs> used to bang, 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 Yeah, it was wicked. They're cool. So then, yeah, so you've at some point you've decided, I want to start a YouTube channel. Yes, yeah. But my, my, my eldest son, Jack, is actually probably the one who, <laughs> who got me into it because he, he's got his own little YouTube channel called ah. Jack's World. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why not? So I've started. I've got a, a wicked new format that I've been wanting to put on there. It's, I love cars. I love speed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that, that's what it's all about. Oh, really. wicked. That, or it will be once I get it up and running a bit more. So, better. yeah, we'll link it below and then Cheers, if anyone wants to go and follow you and they can go check it out. And yeah. Yeah, specifically at the minute, Hyundai content, yeah? Yeah, literally, I, I like working on cars. Mm -hmm. um, I've tuned a few cars as well. Like I had an M135i and I, mm -hmm. I used a JB4 platform mm -hmm. and you can get that to stage two. You can put meth on it, you can do all that through that, that platform yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, why am I not recording this stuff? Yeah, it's I'm interesting. Doing? Show it to the world, why Exactly, not? so I got this and started doing a few mods on it. Wanted to get with the camera work mm -hmm. and just really learn how to edit and stuff. Yeah, yeah, well um, done. And then, yeah, that's that's where I am. But it's no different to me. Just started off <laughs> as a bit of a hobby. You know, yeah, I'm doing stuff for cars. I had a bit of fun with cameras yeah. and editing. And it's for a laugh, jobs, really. Jobs good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. So let me just flip the end mode on. If you press the right button and press it until it goes custom, the yeah. suspension will stay a bit softer. So yeah, it's, it's a bit hard, isn't it? It is. It always puts a smile on my face. Oh, they sound so good. I've said it before, the crackles are so nice. It does crackle a little bit more though, this yeah, one. It's got that beam or something. Yeah, yeah, because of the exhaust. It's not over the top at all. No. It's far from it. It's, it's, it sounds, sounds a little bit more than stock. Yeah. That's it. The clutch is definitely coping fine. Maybe our clutch went on our one because it was tuned, whereas this one's still the stock map on it, so it's probably not putting too much torque for uh, your clutch. Personally, I think around the 300 mark's just right for a front wheel drive car, personally. Yeah. You know, once you start getting big numbers, you just it just spins up, especially in the wet. Yeah, <laughs> of thickness. course. One, got, one other thing that I forgot to mention, it's got, um, I call it a dog bone mount, but it's called something else, and that it's a, it's a mount underneath to stop it from wheel hopping. Mm -hmm. So that was done to it as well. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's a nice car. There's literally, it is exactly what you said. I think the, the downfalls with this car are, um, 
well, it's categorised. It's the only annoying thing. Yeah. And at this end of the market, the annoying thing with categorised cars is we can't offer finance on them. There isn't any finance no. companies that offer no. finance on them. So it's just like, we tend to not jump at buying them, but I'm quite familiar with these now. I, I think they've, they're a bloody cool car, these yeah. high 30 ends. And the fact that it's, that, that's that bump. That bump. <laughs> that wasn't nice. <laughs> that wasn't nice. I remember in the Golf R, we hit the, the, the Golf R winner hit that. It was horrible. <laughs> oh, that was a big yeah. pothole, man. But anyway, yeah, the fact is this is a fastback as well. I think it's quite interesting. So, um, the BM is 24 grand. Mm-hmm. This is 13 grand. I, I, I think, you know, it's fair all round, isn't it? I'm happy. No idea. All right. Job done, mate. Um, I haven't decided what I'm doing with this car yet. I think it's going to be a bit of stock, going back to the Planet Dreams thing. I have considered giving it away. I might give it away, and I'm sure by the time this video goes live, I will know, Come but... On, give it away. <laughs> it's, um, we're always weighing up the finances of yeah, putting the car on Planet of Dreams. So, uh, if by the time this video gets edited and uploaded, <laughs> it's possible, then it will go on Planet Dreams, but if not, it'll go up sale and bink up, and I'll let you know. Yeah. All right. Sorted. Happy days. We're going to go back and film with a little bit on your channel now, yeah? Is that the plan? Cool. Cool, alright. Guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I will link our vertical in the description below. Make sure you do your checks. Um, hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new. Make sure you go and check out his channel. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.